and welcome to our channel. If you're new, we are Kai and Nika, and we are a husband and wife that love traveling. For our next adventure, we're actually going to be taking a road trip up the coast of California, but there's a little twist. We're actually going to be renting a sprinter, a sprinter van. van. So this should be a different experience because we are normally used to like regular camping, you know, pitch a tent and stuff, but we're going to consider this glamping. Glamping, okay, definitely. So we're, we're, going, we're going to definitely show you guys, but we're on our way to our van right now. Yes. So stay tuned for that. we got a big, 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 big um, adventure coming through, so we're excited to share with you guys. Come along for the ride. What up, everybody? We just pulled up to our van here in LA called Cabana. So our van is super amazing. It has a queen size bed in the back. We have a full shower and bathroom, two sinks, and there's also a pull out kitchen with a two stove burner. So we are set for the week. That's why this is called glamping, honestly. Glamping. We're glamping, but yes, we are gonna go hit up a few national parks and a few campgrounds, so stay tuned. Up We're the coast we go. Let's go. What's up everybody? We're at our first campsite. This is Emma Wood State Beach in Ventura, California. Dude, we got front row view of the ocean. <laughs> we are in our ocean suite here. Ocean suite. The cool thing about it over here, uh, it's super wide open. We took the pups on a couple walks. We made our own fire pit. Yes, you know set up a little the, campfire. Campfire, what else? We even um, like kind of grilled outside, so. Yeah, once we got situated, we we made a chili for dinner. It was really good though. Wife made it, so. A1. Just a quick dinner. It took us a while to get settled in, but here we are. But yeah, we are hey, we are loaded. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, y'all. So look, our next spot, we are headed to Monterey Bay. Four hours. Let's do this. What's up, everyone? We just left Emma Wood State Beach. We'll be sure to leave the link in the description down below. But it was amazing. Honestly, 10 out of 10. It was dope. It was it super was. seclusive. Um, honestly, it didn't have that much people. Uh, we stayed towards the end of this area. So if you are looking to do it, highly recommend. Um, again, like my wife said, link will be in the description below. And uh, yeah. Yes. Now we're headed um, up like north to monterey area um our campground is about four a little over four hours away so we'll probably make a few pit stops in between and we will keep you guys updated we're gonna go stop for some coffee right now but yes yeah, stay tuned it's a completely different environment than this so we're excited we're gonna switch it up a little bit back and, in the yes, woods back see in the you guys in a little bit All right. So really quick, we wanted to do a little quick stop here in uh, Solvang and try to see what the hype was all about. Um, wife and I are just about to go grab some coffee and kind of just look around and see what's cracking here. Let's go. Yes.
All right, so we just took a quick little pit stop through Solvang. It's actually on our way to Monterey. So we just decided just to drive through the city really quick. It's super, super cute. Um, we also stopped at a coffee shop called Good Seed Coffee, which was super good. The vibe was super, super cute. They were really nice inside as well. But yes, definitely give it a try if you guys ever stop by. And stay tuned. We're going to continue up going to Monterey, and we'll see you guys soon. Alright you guys, after four and a half hours we finally made it to our second destination. We're at Henry Cowell State Park. Oh, yeah. um, this is totally different than our first Super campsite beautiful. as you can see, but it is beautiful. It's like all... Beach to wilderness. Yes, it's the redwood forest so it is, it's so nice. Just super tall trees super green and yeah our campground's really nice too we have like a whole corner to ourselves so yes stay yes, tuned you guys will definitely see but yes we're gonna get, go ahead and get settled in and then we'll take you guys along <laughs> All right, guys, I am on dinner duty tonight. So we are doing some bacon and cheese burgers. Super simple. We are running a little low on time again. So we're just keeping it simple tonight. Kai's over there golfing, of course. You know, nothing new. Just golfing wherever you can. Finally have a drink. It's been a long day. But yes, catch you guys soon. What up, everybody? Hey, we finally made it. The wifey and the kids, we are now relaxing here at, what is this beach called? Henry Cowles. Henry, Henry something, wife well, will let you guys know, but it's a beautiful area. We have the entire location to us. We're the only ones that is just us. Everyone else has like big old parties and stuff like that. So highly recommended. Here's to a relaxing night. Day two, night two. Cheers everybody. We got some burgers, they're ready. Yes, yes. Mine's a gluten-free bun. So I know, basic. All right guys, we just had dinner, we cleaned up, took the pups on a walk, and now we're gonna have some s'mores, which we are super excited, who wouldn't be? Yep. All right y'all, we are calling it a night. All right everybody. We will see you tomorrow, we're gonna do a few hikes, but yeah. Stay tuned for Good that. Night. All right, what up everybody, Good morning. Good morning. Top of the morning. Uh, we kind of slept in a little bit. I know. Uh, slept in a little longer than The van literally planned. offers us like complete pitch black and we got AC on. So we definitely slept through our alarm yeah. and stuff. We're supposed to be up by 6, but it's 10. <laughs> yeah, we got up. Okay, we got up at 9 though. We okay, 9. Sorry. Nine. But um, yeah, we're going to go on a few hikes right now and bring the pups. So these ones are dog friendly. Um, we're doing Graham Hill and Powder Mill. So it's actually like at our campground, but it seems like a nice little hike. So About three miles. So yeah. we're about to see. Stay tuned. Let's check, check it out. It out. our hike which took about roughly around two hours yeah we did about three almost like three and a half miles but we kind of pumped the last half a mile maybe even like <sighs> three quarters of a mile because we we have to check out by 12 about 12 30 so. right now so don't tell but but great hike <laughs> highly recommend again if you have your dogs great hike um definitely do this because we ended up coming across a nice little creek uh which a lot of photo opportunities and stuff like that so definitely yeah, do super, that super super nice um 
We saw a lot of horses too. A lot of horses. Which is crazy. I, the dogs are kind of just like, what the hell yeah. is this? I don't think they've ever seen a horse like that, but there's a lot, a lot of horses. Yeah, it's a lot of horses. Um, well, yeah, hey, so that's that. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that clip. Now we're on our way to like our Monterey third area. camp. Oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna go check out some other spots, but uh, yep. off to our third camp. So stay tuned for that one. Later. All right, guys, we made a pit stop at the Fisherman's Wharf in Monterey. Um, we're actually eating right now at the Grotto Fish Market. So we got a clam chowder bowl and <laughs> clam chowder bowl and a lobster roll. But yeah, super good. What do you think, babe? Yeah, super, super good. Um, after this, we're actually gonna head to, I believe it's called like a 17 mile drive or something, I thought. We will keep you guys posted, stay tuned. All right, y'all. So we just got done eating lunch. Now we needed some ice cream. We're here at Monterey Bay Creamery. Not bad, didn't they? they ran out of a lot of my flavors, but we stuck with just rock and roll. <laughs> Keep it OG. All right, guys. So we just got to the 17 mile drive and basically it's exactly what it sounds like. It's 17 miles, but all along the coast. Be prepared though, because you do have to pay at the entrance. So it is, it's 1125 per car, but we just started, but it is so pretty. So far, as you can see, we are right on the coast. Hi, am I not playing? Hey, it's okay. The car is so sad right now, guys. Dude, in some this, type this of way. This is like one of my all-time favorite. This is my what is it called? Top of the list course to play, and your, we're just driving by. Your bucket list course. My bucket list course. And you're just driving by. Just driving by. Yeah. Good little drive. So sad. Very much so. Crying. Inside Crying. and outside. <laughs> guys we just finished our 70 mile drive which was really nice like i did mention earlier it is 11.25 per car so just be pre prepared to pay that if you guys do come but it was really nice it's right along the coast of monterey so you're passing um the golf courses the ocean a, like super super nice houses but yeah it was super nice now we're gonna head out to towards um bixby state bridge yep now that you saw that though this one should be really good too uh, we heard tremendous reviews on it like really good um there's a lot of photo opportunities and stuff like that so just be ready for that So we also stopped at Garapada State Park. Highly recommend that. Um, beautiful scene. Um, it also actually has a nice staircase that leads down to the ocean. So again, a bunch of beautiful um, photo photography opportunities and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. Now we are headed to Bigsby. Okay, now we finally, we knocked that out. Now we're headed to Bigsby. So be ready for this one. It should be epic.
everybody, welcome to Bigsby Bridge. Bigsby Bridge, we finally made it. We were so excited. I think this was probably the place we were most excited to see. Exactly. But it is beautiful. I feel like it's way better in person than pictures or videos. Yep. Like it is so nice. I mean, check out some of the shots I did. You know what I'm saying? Check yes, out, check out. yes, yes. Um, and then just letting you know too, uh, there's not a lot of parking, but we did find like a dirt area on the left of the bridge. So definitely park right there. It's a lot more like private. There's not as many people to the other viewing point but yes it is super super nice the and if blue. by now if by now you're not convinced on this trip i don't know what to say i don't know i don't know Check out. everybody so we are officially here what a journey it has been i hope you guys enjoyed those last couple clips but we are here now at what park we're at pfeiffer state park campground yes super cool um kind of similar to what we had just left from yeah. uh henry's but um definitely recommended as well i mean i guess the spot is super wide open and stuff so but yeah this yeah. one does book up really quick um it was completely full and i went on randomly one day and i found literally one, one so spot. we booked it so yeah definitely books up quick so if you guys are looking to do this book it sooner the better asap asap yeah. but again we're gonna chill here for the night uh, we got steaks coming for dinner so stay tuned shutting out for the rest of the night tomorrow be ready because we do got some other stuff that is very exciting so be ready we are actually headed down it's gonna be our last campsite <sighs> it's been a journey but looking forward to tomorrow peace out for now all right what up everybody good morning good morning top of the morning we are finally awake it's about eight o'clock about to start our day we've got breakfast going hope everyone had a great sleep last night hope y'all enjoyed those videos and uh, stay tuned for more today guys so we're on our way to Makeway Falls which we're super excited to see and on the way there was actually a stop we we're thinking of doing it's called Partington Cove which is a it's like a small hike and it leads out to like a little cove so we were gonna stop there but we decided to keep going but we pulled over on one of the little like uh, the stops on the side of the road and look at this view behind me it is so pretty so pretty like we're so tempted to stop at every single um, little off ramp but it is so nice out here but we're gonna take a few drone shots out, out here so stay tuned for that Right, guys we just got to Makeway Falls um, there's like a little parking lot right here that you can park at and then you'll see a sign like this uh, so we're gonna go ahead and follow this trail I believe it's about 0.8 miles and then it it'll lead you to the waterfall so stay tuned come along with us Thank you. 
right guys we're just getting up to McWay Falls and it is so gorgeous unfortunately there's a small part of like the viewing area that is like the main part of the viewing area that's closed but we still have a really good view we're getting some really good shots and just taking it all in it's so pretty So, as you guys can see, there's a golf <laughs> cart behind me. Uh, the wife was grateful enough to let me play around. We got, to, we actually got to the campground pretty early, so we said, "Ah, oh, let's kind of go shoot the city." And we were, and she had mentioned, "Like, yo, let's just go play golf." I'm like, "So, all right, say less." So, we we're playing golf. We're gonna get a quick, maybe 18 in, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Babe, update the people. How was your round? All right, everyone. What up? We are finally concluding my round at uh, um, what was it called? Morro Bay, Bay Golf, Club, Golf Club. Golf Course. It was amazing. I can lie for a cheap rate. It was a really good course. Um, only played 13 holes because uh, we got to go check in. Clearly, you guys can see the sunset, but nonetheless, it was a <laughs> really good time. Um, and yeah, just looking for more for really nice views. Really nice views. Super really nice, nice views. Yeah, I definitely just got some shots, but damn, look at that rock out there. Morro Bay, everybody. Oh yeah, that's Morro Rock, guys. Welcome to Morro Bay. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we are all settled in at Moro Strand State Beach Campground. Um, it's super nice. We have more rock right behind us and then we have like the sunset on the beach on this side. So it's really nice. Beautiful. Super, super nice. Um, we're making some pasta for dinner right now. So trying to get that ready before the sun goes down. But yeah, it's super nice. It's our last night. We're kind of bummed out, but. Again, if you are not convinced that you need to get on one of these trips, I don't, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know what no, honestly, it's been amazing though. Super amazing. Um, yeah. Yeah. We'll be back though. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. We are calling it a night. We just did some s'mores. 
cleaned chilled. up and really chilled. Yes. Now we're gonna, you know, Netflix and chill, watch some Stranger Things. Guys, on the damn RV. I we know. forgot to mention that. We yeah. watched it. This is gonna be our second night watching. Yeah, I know. We had kind of like a little marathon the other Yeah, it was kind of, crazy. kind of crazy. But yeah, it's super cool like to be able to just come in and watch our show and yeah. Do a thing. Cool but hey, that. till tomorrow, we'll catch y'all in the morning. Alrighty guys, good morning. We are on our way back home, but we made a quick pit stop in Pismo Beach. We're at Old West Cinnamon Rolls. So Kai found this online and it looks amazing. Peep the box. Everybody. Please hold. Peep. Look at this. So we got a pecan one, maple bacon, and the original. Looks so good. So wow. definitely give it a try. Alrighty guys, that just about sums up our California coast road trip. Let us know in the comments below what your favorite location was. And if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. With that being said, we'll see you guys on our next adventure.